Good morning everybody. Welcome from Dockside. We are off to Epcot for the day. We're well excited because Mum and Kev haven't been for a long, long time. And we haven't been for a couple of years, have we? Do a bit of food and wine. Cool it in the gang of there so hopefully we can catch some. Let's see what we get up to. Oh, look at that. Good morning everybody from Epcot. Uh, this morning we have no plans. Just going to go with the flow. The only thing we really want to do is ride Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so we'll have to be on the ball at 12.55 to make sure everything's pre prepared for to get the virtual line queue thingy, which um, I can't remember how to do, but um, we'll figure it out. We'd also like to get these guys on test track and saw it, because I think they'll like those two, right? And then we'll eat some bits and bobs and Cool and the gang are on at three times in the afternoon. Is it like 4.30, 5.45 and uh, there's another time in there, but we'll, we'll figure that out as we get to it. Excited? Yeah. How excited? Very excited. Good. Oh, look at this. Mirabelle and all the family. Oh, that's wonderful. How cool is that? So every couple of months, they change from flower and garden to food and wine. Um, what's the other one? Arts, arts. Festival of the Arts. And don't forget that you do need a park reservation to come to Disney nowadays, so look into that. If you don't understand what that is, look into that because you can't get in without a park reservation, even though you have a ticket. So Spaceship Earth is showing a 30 minute standby wait, which I think is a little bit high. It's not looking too bad though. I think it's a little bit high for first thing, like everyone's going on it just because they're, they're here now. We'll come back to that later. So Epcot is under a lot of construction at the moment, so ignore the pixie dust. That's what they say, they normally put up a little sign saying, ignore the pixie dust. What they're doing in there is going to be amazing. Worth waiting for, so it's, it's worth these walls going up. Just looking at the wait times there, test track is 70 minutes. Um, we're going to go and try it because they might have exaggerated the wait times just to get people to buy express passes. We're going to try it anyway and, and see what kind of time we come out with and then we can base our day around that if it's really busy. But it is a Monday so it shouldn't be too bad. Fingers crossed. Not worried. We're just, we're just here for the, for the fun. Oh look at all these gorgeous wildflowers. See all the, all the insects and bugs and bees and stuff. Songbird Meadow. See all the flowers. Gorgeous. And birds and everything. I want to eat there. Except probably wouldn't because you'd get bugs all over you. They've got a big pot though. They've got lots of tall things around it, but in the middle they've got more stuff that's going. Yeah. I love that. That's good, I never noticed that. Thank you for your insight, Mother. Yeah. Where? Big bumblebee. This is a little food booth called the Farmer's Feast and they've got obviously a barbecue out in the back there. Grilled vegetables, grilled swordfish. Oh, he must be doing, yeah, swordfish he's got on that griddle there. I bet, yeah, I bet he is warm as well. It smells good. Right. Okay. Straight on, I think. Uh, no, right. 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 I'm going down to test track. Looks like it's a long wait, but we'll try it. We'll see how we get on over here. I've only been on this once, so I can't tell if that queue is like bad or not. <laughs> well, it's saying it's not actually saying anything up there at the moment. 70 minutes. As test track was not moving, we thought we'd try it later, but these flowers and everything are just stunning. And look at Goofy holding his flowers in the air. I bet he's had a hay fever. Looks like they've still got the 50th statues out. So this is at Pineapple Promenade. Well, they've also got Dole Whip here, Top Whip's Mango Cream Liqueur. We're going to get one of these. Got the wobbly table. So we picked up a spicy hot dog. I think we had this in years past. Yeah. And Powerade. All the spicy sauce went up my nose. That's right, it did. Okay. Let's try it. 
try this. Right, last time? Very nice. Yeah. Whoa, spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is super spicy. Got out your stomach. How's your lemonade? Really nice. What flavour is it? Violet. Violet. She's going violet, violet. What does violet taste like? Like Parma violets. Huh. Just coming up to Canada here. We've never actually explored at all. Oh, it smells good. That must be La Cellier. Oops. Everything Canadian. Spirit jersey. Which is that then? Oh. Oh, no price. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. What's this? I'm going to be the annoying one. <laughs> oh, with the, oh, they've got the bum thing on them. <laughs> it's Ma. Have you seen these? Like the proper stuff right there. Okay, what do you think of these then? Oh. Yeah. I think that's so cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How much are those? They go to the bathroom now. They are $54.99. That's not You don't find that in Primark, do you? No. And then when it's really cold and you can't bother to get your bum out. It has to be said that we did go right on World Showcase. I always give everyone else stick for doing it, but <laughs> now we're doing it. <laughs> I've never been up this way before, but I would love to live in that house. Yeah. Huh? They make those in the UK. I know, I just said that. I'd love to live in that house. It's proper cute. Oh, it smells amazing. That's the restaurant. Okay, I am loving these. They've got characters in them. This is Mickey in there, Minnie, Mickey's head. Got more butterflies and bees and insects in that one. The castle. So cool. Really cool. I like the crocodile. Tongue looks a little dry. Tongue looks a little dry. <laughs> like your tongue yesterday. Tell the people. I was so thirsty yesterday. My tongue was so dry it was like getting stuck to my lip. <laughs> As we've scheduled in two days here at Epcot, we're going to explore an area and then miss an area and then explore an area and miss an area. Same with the food booths. If there's something we like at the next food booth, we'll miss it so that we can do something like that on the next trip here. My allergies are kicking up. <laughs> I didn't take a heavy pill this morning. Oh. Did you? Yeah. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Ah, oh, Minnie's over there. She's signing signing, autograph. She's signing the autograph book. I wish I kept mine from when I was little. Just entering France. And oh, looking at the wait time. Huh? 65. 65 for Ratatouille. Do you want to try it? 65 minutes. Oh, look at it. It looks so cool. Feels like you're actually in a proper town, don't it? Here we go. 65 minutes. We'll time it and let you know if it is correct. So it's saying that they're half past 12 now. <laughs> We're rat sized. What do you think? It's cool, isn't it? But why is the roof so small if we're a rat size? You should imagine. I'm trying. <laughs> It's so cool. You don't really get to see this part if you're in the express queue. You get to see just like the top of it. He's lost his two stars. Remember, food comes to those who 
those who do not feel but not to those who are into you. Yeah. So we're just about to get on the ride now and it's only been 45 minutes. The wait time was posted 65. Big last enough. Each main seat to drop your adventures with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. So we've been shrunk down to the size of a mouse. All rat. Mouse a tui. Oh, he's actually French. Merci beaucoup. Look, we're gonna get in a rat. So if you've never been on this ride before, it's actually a trackless ride. So your ride knows exactly where it's going and it's not on a it's not on a track, it's not on a conveyor belt or anything like that. It's literally free to roam. Oh guys, that was so good. Like we haven't pooed that in the past, but we got express and we like it probably wasn't worth over an hour wait. We actually waited 45 minutes. Yeah, I enjoyed it better that time than the first time. Yeah, that was so good. I loved it. Let's have a look at some of these uh, merch they've got here. You can get some lights with cheese. Oh, they're doing spirit jerseys. Little Remy's. I would have loved this. Oh, he would love that. I love it. How much? $24.99 that you can put him in, pull him out. Wait, he's got his little shaft oh, and, a, and an olive. That's proper cute. Ah, kissed it. You are so sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, mother, I'll stay with you. I'm still in France, and you can get the little um, ride buggy there. Or is it a pullback? Yeah, you must pull back and let him go. That's a re remote control mouse. The cheese is the remote. Look at the lights. I saw them. It's not there. Anyone can cook. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, what's it? Oh, a notebook. That's cute though. How much is that? Uh, nobody knows. I actually need one of these book holders for my Margaritaville book. Fromage. <laughs> We're definitely cut from the same cloth. Oh, look! Wow, beauties. Could eat your breakfast out of them. Okay, this is my chance. I've seen everybody else have one, and there's no queue. I wouldn't generally have sweet stuff this early in the day, but it's going to get busy later, isn't it? Just keep in mind, I'm not good with that. Okay. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, with sweet stuff, I normally have one bite and leave it all to Scott, because I only want the one bite. <laughs> Didn't really know what I was doing there, so I picked raspberry syrup and the white chocolate coconut ice cream. Well, I suffer with sensitive teeth so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be horrible but horrible on my teeth. Because it's hot and cold. It's okay. What it's okay as in flavour or sensitivity? I think they're overrated, but maybe I've gone for the wrong thing. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. What did you get? Blueberry ice cream? Mm. Oh, there we go. Mm. Oh my god. Sensitivity kick in. Oh yeah. So that was from the Latesan de Classe. I don't know how you say that, I don't speak French at all. Um I thought it was okay, it was ten dollars and twelve cents. These guys really liked it. Um, maybe it just wasn't my thing. It's okay. We also forgot to 
tell you guys that we've got a lightning lane, oh no it's not a lightning lane, a virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. So we went on at one o'clock, literally within seconds I was counting down, three, two, one, press the button and we got one, so chuffed. Our return time is 3.20. Yeah, approximately. I think sometimes you have to keep an eye on it because they, they might bring it forward if they get through. That's so exciting though, that's like, we're chuffed with that. Now into Morocco. So this is a spice garden and they've got spearmint over here, parsley down the front, black pepper. Oh, I can actually see a lizard in there. I'm gonna zoom in. He's literally above where it says black pepper. I'm trying to point at him there. Standing very still. Garlic. What's that? French marigold. Oh, that's a flower. Okay. That's what they got around here. Black mustard. Peppers. Cinnamon. Chili pepper. I have that one at home, that capiscum annum. Like Bay leaf. Out of 10, I'll be able to find it. Oh, I just want to have a little rub. Oh my god, I just realised I said I'm just going to have a little rub. You know what I mean? It's so crazy how well they've done everything like this. Race against the sun, ancient technique to modern competition. I don't know what's in there. So what I'm about to show you is called Shishi Odoshi and it's to scare the deer away. So the water fountains were filled up with water and you can see there's lots of like instruments or drums. And when they fill up with water, they'll fall back down and hit the drums. So if there's any deer in the area that are trying to eat their produce or greenery, they'll get scared away. And actually it's really relaxing. Just sitting and watching it. It's more over here. Shishi or doshi. Oh, these are like things we got in Spain in the freezer. Burger shaped chocolatey filled cookies. I just like my heart just skipped a beat. Like, <laughs> I was just looking at these gummy candies and then I saw that, but just like that. And I was like, who the hell would eat the hat? Muscat. These are really soft. Got strawberry Kit Kat. What's this one? I can't really tell. Mm, don't know what that is. I like the idea of these. So it says, Okiagari Koboshi. I am a doll that doesn't fall. Gently push me down and I'll get back up again. So look. I think if you give them to somebody who's going through a tough time. We could just do it all day. Aren't we? I mean, <laughs> I was just about to say you would be perfect for one of these. Is my OCD. Yeah, and your stress levels and everything like that. You should join the Buddha life. I think it'd be really good for you. Do you like that? I mean, yeah. But, uh, the fact that the rocks are there is annoying. <laughs> That's heavy, gee. Twenty dollars. But that's heavy as a rock. What do you think of Epcot so far then, Mother? I've fallen in love with Epcot. Ah, yeah, I've yeah. fallen in love. Um wanna come back again. We are, so that's good. <laughs> we just checked up on our virtual queue for Guardians and it's about fifty-five minutes away. So what we're gonna do is as we're halfway around the pack park even. We're going to get a friendship boat over to the sort of the beginning of the World Showcase area. Just hang about for a bit because it's only about 55 minutes until our ride time. So if we've got time to spare then we'll look at a few shops and just chill out and get excited for the ride. Now how do we get down there then? Oh over here. So I can see the friendship boat on the other side of the lake there. So 
like a monorail on water. So we're the first on so we can choose where we want to sit and we want to sit at the back. before our time is called for guardians so we went into club call and have a few bevies and literally kev had beverly and liked it like who does that and then we had a few more minutes that butterfly was huge did you see that yes, and um, we went into the creation shop so much cool stuff in there and now we've just been called so we're going to go on guardians and i'll let you know what it was like and uh, what song we got yeah. there's that butterfly it's huge so we are at the Mexican food booth and we picked up the quesadilla. Um, it looks very strange. This is a homemade dough, so maybe that's why it looks weird. But I'm gonna give it a try. First, Don't know. Boring. That's a shame. Yeah, it's very boring. You know, we bought that arepa the other day and hated it. Mm. It must be the cornbread. Because that same flavour is in this. Just saying, it's not horrible, it's just a bit boring. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just... It's like you've tried to cook something without a recipe and thought, just go with it. Like, do you know what I mean? It's an experiment that shouldn't be done again. Seems quite busy around these parts. I really like this area. It's really cool, isn't it? I'd like to eat in there one day. Do you? Yeah. It's kind of peaceful, like even though it's really hectic here, it just seems to go. Okay, this is the from the German pavilion. It's a toasted pretzel bun with Gruyere cheese. What else was in it? Serrano ham, something else or something else. And Scott has? Uh, Blake's cherry cider. It's really nice. Mm, that's a winner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you might not be able to hear this. Super windy. The wind is really big, isn't it? You see the, the ham in there? Yeah. Mmm. I'll try the cheese on its own. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? We managed to nab a seat literally on this like little outpost. Just opposite German. Ger Ger Germany, even. Yeah. <laughs> German. <laughs> well, we've got a beer there. Nice beer, apparently. Scott's still got his cherry cider from refreshment outpost. Pretzel, pretzel. Oh my god. Do you think that's gone to my head? Well, I just said pretzel. Pretzel bun we just had was uh, yeah, in amazing. That's really nice. I think I might get that again mm -hmm. next time we come here. And he's just looking through the book for any more ciders. Anything that you fancy? Not yet. I think the offerings are better in food and wine, if I'm yeah. honest. Trying to teach these two to floss. Oh, That's got side near our flossing. Too much, cider. <laughs> too much sun. Go on, try again. With hips this time. <laughs> oh my god. There's no teaching them, they don't listen. <laughs> Do it again. Oh Jesus. Your turn. 
We're currently waiting in the queue for Cool and the Gang. They've already started at half past five. We're getting the second show in, but we've come an hour before and there are already people in front of us, so come at least an hour before. So we've got our seats here and um, we're third row. This way you want to sit? You happy? Oh, happy. That looks good. I'm throwing a few shots so you guys can have a good idea. So guys, we haven't vlogged much since Cool in the Gang. We went on test track, which was awesome. Um, put a bit of that footage in here. heading out this is so pretty we're heading out and we're going to Cheddar's for some tea hopefully we can get in there without any problems so we're here at Cheddar's kitchen the one that's nearest to SeaWorld I made a reservation um, but it wasn't necessary because it looks like it just walking here we go yeah for a Monday night it's not too busy these croissants are amazing. You guys tuck in. Show the people your margarita. It's gonna take two hands. You're gonna need two hands for this. Bigger than what? What did I get for it? Oh, I got a wet palm. Scott! Oh, you're so thin. And I have got a sangria. I'm not gonna pick this up, it's too big. Mum has also got sangria. These are really good, they're like seven dollars. Mum and Kev went for the Cajun uh, pasta. What was it called? Like jambalaya base, was it? I can't remember. <laughs> New Orleans pasta. That's it. And Scott and I have got the ribs, half rack of ribs and fried shrimp, chips, and there is some broccoli on the way. Thanks, Mum. Well. Good. This isn't actually what we expected. So it was advertised as broccoli cheese casserole. And we thought it would just be like cauliflower cheese, but broccoli. Um, it seems to have like rice and stuff in it. Looks good, looks tasty. Best meal of the trip goes to Cheddar's. Look how tender these ribs are. Just so tender. And this is a triumph. That's really tasty. It doesn't look great, but it's really tasty. Well, guys, we are absolutely shattered. We're back at the hotel now. We're going to have to run through the sprinklers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Oh. <laughs> Sprinkler. We'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye.